toy, we can do that too, but I believe it's good day cooking. <laughs> All right, Jerry is here from a Slice Pizza and Brew and his son, Levi. Levi. Good morning, Levi. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so this is called the White Shadow. And there is, so there is absolutely, I mean, you think of pizza a lot, you think of red sauce. Yeah. This has no red sauce whatsoever. No red sauce and no meat. And no meat, so it's just mushrooms. So you know how people use mushrooms as substitute. As mm -hmm. So this is kind of what it is when you use fresh uh, local portobello mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're really kind of meaty, they're fantastic. So you kind of have to, the pre preparation is cooking down the mushrooms, cooking down the onions, caramelizing them. We grill. We grill mushrooms grill and okay. slice them, and we caramelize the onions. That's okay. right. All right. So you get all that fixed, and let's build it. Okay. All right. We use olive oil to start with. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got me a little Again, because there's brush. no sauce. Yep. No just, red sauce. Just olive oil. All right. Yep. And so not even any the, white sauce. No. So just no sauce that's, at all. That's a base. And then we use garlic. Okay. Now how would you do your garlic at home? Does it, I mean, could you use Roast the garlic, it. garlic or we, you need you to can, do it you can, you, you, can use, you can use a jar if, if that's what you have, but we, we like to roast garlic. Okay. Okay. And then caramelize onions. We kind of sprinkle that around on there. Now, when you do caramelize onions, I know I, most of y'all probably tried them at home. You really have to be patient because it takes a long don't time. Hurry it. Yeah. it takes a long time. You cook it on low and just let it cook and th until it turns this color. What do you turns put brown. on them when you're caramelizing? Oil. Them? You just can use oil. oil. Yeah, a little okay. oil, and just let them cook. And it takes. It does takes a, takes a while. Yeah. It can take. Uh, hour and a half, two hours. If you really want to get them like that. You want to get them brown like and that. And they end up being very, very sweet. Very sweet and flavors perfect. Okay. And you know, so we use whole garlic as okay. well. All okay. Right. And then, and then we put the mushrooms on. All right. Like I said, these are grilled. Mm -hmm. uh, so you would want to grill them. You don't want to saute them. Grill them and slice them. Okay. Because portobellos are big. Yeah, they're big. They're, so that's why they're so, like a steak. That's right. They're just like a steak. Mm -hmm. And we slice it up and okay. they have a fabulous flavor. All right. A little salt and pepper. And then we use our own uh, cheese blend. Mm -hmm. This may be one of the few pizzas that you actually put the cheese on top. Usually you're putting the cheese on the bottom and then building the meat around. That's right. Yeah. That's, we, 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 don't, uh, we don't do that. Now we do it uh, with the... Uh, uh, cheese pizza, of course. Sure. Uh, it's cheese. It's cheese. That's it. <laughs> Ain't nothing but cheese. All right. All right. And then we use feta. Feta makes it better. Feta always makes it better. Feta on now top what kind of the feta? Because there are different kinds of feta. So there's French feta. This is a French feta. Okay. This is this is a real creamy. Uh, in the kitchen normally is truffle oil. Truffle oil. But the truffle oil comes after the pizza's done. Okay. All right, we've okay. got about 30 I've seconds. Got, so I've he's going to go get the one that he put in the oven. Yep. And you can see what it looks like when it comes out. So here it comes. That's what it looks like being put together. Put the truffle right. oil on it. And, and there's it your pizza right it here. It is uh, ready to go. Yeah. All right, we'll cut that up. All right, Jerry, cut that up, and we will take a break, and we'll be right back. Right.